song. If you love your mom, then uh, hit like and press subscribe. Uh, thank you. Hey guys, so today I'll be teaching you how to create a, a gaming thumbnail on a free software called GIMP. I will leave the download link in the description. So if you want to use it, you can go ahead. So for the so today I'm going to be using a 1280 by 720p thumbnail. And for the purpose of this video, I'll be using a space theme background because I do not have anything else. And um, so the first thing we are going to do, what I do for my thumbnails is that I select a gradient and so that the color of the background changes a bit. So now I'm going to use black and purple and I head over to colors and uh, to, to the map section and gradient map. Yep. So now the color of the uh, background has changed uh, to a black purple kind of thing where black is a shadow and purple is the main color. Then I'm going to select uh, shade from the middle of the gradient and I'm going to draw with the paintbrush a uh, half a U and then I'm going to select it and turn it into the dodge mode as you can see right now so it looks a bit better I can go ahead and draw um, the dodge paintbrush everywhere else but it just looks like better like this so now I have inserted uh, some pictures so th these are the few thumbnails I made uh, using GIMP and uh, so I'm going to be using them to create the thumbnail for this video. So this is the first picture and I have rescaled it. This is the second picture. So let me rescale this also. And I guess I have another one. Yes, I do have and I'm going to be using that too. So let it just load. And yeah, this is the third thumbnail, the third picture I'm going to be using. So I guess these pictures look a bit big so let me just rescale them again so yeah I've done that and now I guess I'll add some rotation to them to make them a bit more fun better looking yep rotation to the third one fine now after that I'm going to be um, adding kind of a border to them so I'll select one of them head into head into filters and add a drop um, I'm going to add a drop down shadow to them uh, I'll make it black in color because white doesn't look too good and so now what I'm going to do I'm going to select all the other two um, some other two images also and I'm going to uh, use the same effect again so there we have created the border for our images so now let me go ahead and type in the text fine how to make how to create I don't know what know what I need to type I'll be back fine so I have typed my text for the thumbnail and right now it is small so let me make it large and as you can see I have used different fonts for each line and I have rescaled them so that they uh, are in the same vertical plane and I'm going to just add a red color to YouTube I'm going to add a yellow color to thumbnails because that is the main point of attraction for this video and I guess should I make gaming blue in color I do not know if it will look good Nah, it doesn't so let me just go back to my normal white and uh, I think I, I I am going to change how to make I'm going to change it into how to create so that the thumb the text of the thumbnail fits um, so that the text of the thumbnail is a bit longer and occupies more space so that the thumbnail doesn't look empty Fine, so I have done that. I've changed make into create and I've used a different font for create and I'm going to use the yellow color again. So now what I have done, I have um, brought the text boxes really close to each other so that it looks a bit compact. It looks like it has taken, it, it has occupied sufficient space and uh, it doesn't look too shabby. So now I'm going to add a lighting effect to each text box. As you can see, I just added one to create and it just makes it look a bit metallic and uh, dynamic to be honest and I'm going to go ahead and do it to my images also so there I have added another lighting effect to my third image and now all I need to do is add some borders to my text so I'm going to be using the magic select tool to outline our text and using the filter tab again I am going to be adding a drop down black shadow yep but this time it's purple let me just change it yep it's black now and I'll adjust the length so that it fits it looks better yep 
done that and now I'm going to be using the same filter the same effect on all of my text so copy paste copy paste and copy paste yep copy paste so I guess that uh, our thumbnail is made in under five minutes that is so cool this thumbnail looks so good so I guess you can do it you can use different images you can play around with the filters a bit but uh, this is how I create a thumbnail so I hope you enjoyed the video thanks guys for watching make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and share this video if you can also make sure to follow my Instagram page the link is in the description below thank you stay tuned and goodbye